You're watching Chili Boy Productions. I'm Larry Chili Boy Chilson, and today we're talking about Black Widow's box office. Now, before we get into the box office talk, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can chill with me on all of my latest videos. So after about a decade of fans begging and pleading for a Black Widow film to finally be made, here we are. It has arrived. A solo Black Widow film starring Scarlett Johansson is here. And thanks to a certain viral pandemic from the last year, the film has went through a couple of delays and finds itself on the early end of the world coming back to a new normal. With a big Marvel film, a character we have all known for about a decade at this point, and, you know, just wanting to see cinemas succeed post-pandemic, you would think fans are hyped, rooting on and cheering for Black Widow to succeed. I know I surely was. And I think most MCU fans were as well. That is, until Carla Johansson dared. Dared! to address how her character was sexualized in portrayal throughout her time in the MCU. Now, I'm just going to say this in the interview when she's asked this question and she responds, Scarlett doesn't drag Marvel. She doesn't drag the directors that she had worked with. She doesn't really talk negatively about that experience, but really correlated it to her own self-worth and her own views on women and how she personally internalized that sexualization and how with the positive that we've come out of just having Black Widow be this sexy female character to have on the team. Because let's face it, Black Widow really hasn't gotten much backstory. She hasn't gotten that much development through at least her first several appearances on the big screen. And was there to look good in a tight black bodysuit. Now, I've seen people cry, oh, well, Thor is shirtless in almost every movie, and we get shots of Captain America shirtless, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, well, we do. We do. But they exist as actual people. They actually have characterization. Each of those got three solo films to this point. So, yeah, they're sexy, but they're also fully fleshed out characters. Black Widow, yeah, she's sexy. We love it. Having sexy characters is great. But that's almost all she was on the team for quite some time. And that's the point being made. But that kind of went over quite a few people's heads. Because at this point, all these people who had loved Black Widow, who really enjoyed the character, suddenly turned on her. Suddenly, they want to see Black Widow succeed. They were willing to champion Black Widow as long as she was sexy and just accepted her role as the bombshell. That woman speaks up. <clears throat> now it's feminazi woke business here. Sarjo gone woke. And it's not sexism, right? After that interview was released just a couple of weeks ago, suddenly I saw all of the dude bros popping up with their YouTube pages, posting about how Black Widow is projected to fail. The feminazi woke trash is going to drive men away from the movie theater and Black Widow will make no money. Yes, women can be dude bros too. Internalized misogyny is very real. Well, guess what, dude bros? The feminazi woke Black Widow that you claim did not drive men away from the theaters. This weekend, Black Widow opened to a new pandemic era record of 80 million. And in an unprecedented move, Disney released the Disney Plus premiere access numbers, which equated out to $60 million worth of Disney Plus rentals, making for a combined total of $140 million domestic opening. Disney Plus numbers do not translate directly over to box office. Let's just make that very, very clear. However, it's always reasonable to suspect a portion of that $60 million would have went to box office numbers. 
even if just a third of that money went to the box office, that puts us at $100 million. Also, to take into account and consideration, markets have finally gone back to more or less normality here in the United States. However, lumped into domestic box office numbers is Canada. And most of the large markets of Canada are still closed. And most all of the major markets of Canada are still closed. So basically check out an entire country's worth, which accounts for about 20% of screens in the domestic box office numbers. So all of this taken into consideration, $80 million beat F9, beat all the other films that have come out to this point for a pretty fantastic debut opening. I suspect most of these same people are going to come forward and say 80 million is a flop for Marvel. It's horrible. It's a terrible number. Of course, not giving proper context. But when we look back, not adjusting for inflation, we will give that caveat right now, Black Widow opened right in line with most solo debuts for new characters in the MCU, certainly. Even taking out the Disney Plus numbers and taking out any sort of pandemic buffoonery. First Avenger, which was released in 2011, opened to 65 million. Thor, also opened in 2011, 65 million. Ant Man from 2015, 57 million. Doctor Strange from 2017, 85 million. And then, of course, we have the OG Iron Man way back in 2007 at 98 million, which is fantastic. And the outliers that also tend to make this crowd pretty angry. We have Captain Marvel at $153 million opening and Black Panther at $202 million opening. All of this is to say, for a non-team-up film, $80 million all by itself is still right in line with a good average Marvel opening. Now, of course, these numbers have started to skew higher and higher in more recent Marvel films is the lowest opening since 2018's Ant-Man and the Wasp opened at $75 million. Again, this is all without taking anything else into consideration. And let's just be honest, the metrics, the scales by which these dude bros measure success and find ways to fling mud at women and people of color change constantly. They tried to sabotage Captain Marvel at all costs because, let's be real, Brie Larson makes them big mad. They'll make 50 million videos about Brie Larson because she walked out of her house one day. Guess what? When that movie opened to $153 million and went on to gross well over $1 billion, suddenly box office didn't matter. That was attributed to Endgame or that was attributed to just Marvel. No, no, no. Suddenly, critics scores. Oh, critics scores. Even though it was still in the 70% range. Oh, no, it was a flop. It was terrible. Oh, 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 the, the fan scores, the fan scores. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So this time around, they don't really have the critics scores. They don't really have the fan scores to back up their vitriol, which they didn't really have in Captain Marvel either. So they'll look at this box office and spin it to look like a negative. But guess what? Stay mad, dude bros. Black Widow. Killed it at the box office, killed it on Disney+. Plus. They were so happy with the numbers that they decided to actually release the revenue, which is something they've yet to do in this sort of capacity. And worldwide, where the markets are still very scarce and in all types of disarray, not even including a Chinese release to date, it opened with the Disney Plus number at over $200 million. Why y'all mad, huh? We want to know why you're mad. Actually, we don't really care because we do already know. And you can stay mad because women, because as Marvel has shown, if you put out the product, if you market it well, if you have a good product on hand, the people are going to show up. Y'all can scream, woke, woke, oh, woke agenda. Phases one, two, and most of three were only white dudes, and now women and people of color are coming into the mix. What will we do? Well, you'll go and you'll watch the movies, just like you always have. You'll come online and you'll bitch and you'll complain, and you'll watch as the box office numbers continue to roll in like they continue to do. And guess what? All of this is coming from a little LGBTQIA 
person of color who didn't love Black Widow all that much. But I'm still going to celebrate its success because it makes the dude bros mad. That's it. That's our discussion on Black Widow's box office success. I hope y'all liked this video. If you did, hit that like button. And if you're mad, hit that dislike button. And of course, I'm sure you'll leave all your thoughts and comments down below. Love y'all so much for your continued support. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.